but it rained on us pretty much the entire time from Spring Creek Pass to the yurt. So my new shoes were completely soaking wet and water was like sloshing around in my toes. And I wrung water out of my socks last night. So you can imagine putting them on this morning was thrilling experience. about 8 45 we've been hiking since about 6 6 15 I don't know and it is a little bit overcast a little bit sunny and pretty chilly and we're all just trying to get through like the first seven or eight miles before it storms this afternoon I got new shoes, so my feet are much happier. And we met, Casey dropped me off in Lake City yesterday around noon and then within like 30 minutes, Uncle John and Mary were there to pick me up. And I had a nice ice cream shake in the meanwhile. And then we drove up to Spring Creek Pass and Uncle John dropped us off in mid threatening skies. And then we hiked in a little over eight miles, like eight and a half, to where the yurt was. We were hoping to be able to stay in the yurt last night, but when we got there, Apparently it was completely packed with like 20 people. So we didn't even go up the hill. So we walked across a little valley and found some sites and set up our tents and it kind of rained off and on, but then the evening kind of cleared up, which was nice. So we were able to do our bear hang in our supper without getting rained on, which was pleasant. It's beautiful, high ridge walk, views on both sides, and this morning was wet, condensation in my tent, condensation on my bag, um, I actually dried my bag out over my pack while I was hiking for a while, so... That ridge you can see in the far distance is where we're headed. I think that's the high point of the CT. On one of the final climbs up to the high point of the CT, which is over 13,000 feet. We'll be above tree line all day today, but about 15 miles from where we started is a lowish place called Cataract Lakes. And I think a lot of us are shooting for there to camp tonight. We're at the high point. Marmots here. Oh, I was talking. 
chirping at us. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? It's 9.03, we've been hiking for like three and a half hours, so it's about 5.20ish. I have no idea how many miles we've gone, but we've gone over four passes that are over 12.7, so just go up and then you go down, you go up and you go down, you go up and you go down. This is the second in a row of over 12.9. And the scenery is amazing, of course. It's just been kind of like slightly overcast all morning. And uh, pretty cool. Not super cold, but really good hiking weather. And we're attempting to go to where we drop off of this high plateau and go a few more miles, so it's like 10 or 11 miles to Willis Pass tomorrow, so maybe I can get there around noon-ish, early afternoon, meet Julie and do my resupply, and then hopefully we'll hike out five more miles or so. But anyway, we'll see how the weather does. Yesterday we stopped at 15 miles and we were super tired. We're hoping to go a little bit farther than that today, but the climbs are more numerous but shorter. So maybe that'll be helpful. I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you what we're hiking into. Oh, the zigzags. <laughs> Here's what it looks like out there. Most past highway is just right there. It's a really, really pretty spot. So we woke up at 4.30 today and we were just like a couple miles below where you drop off of Elk Creek and we found a spot right at 11,000 feet and we set up last night 
And it started raining last night and rained for quite a long time. Um, so we were happy to, to be there. We probably got there around six-ish. And then we got up at 4.30 this morning and continued to hike down, 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 down. We hiked all the way down to 8,900 feet. It took forever, I felt like. But we finally made it to the Animus River. And you could see the narrow gauge railroad right there, which was pretty cool. And we actually saw the train as we were hiking back out of that deep gorge valley up Mullis Pass. There's the train way down there. Crossing the... I guess it probably stopped for the hikers. <laughs> yeah. It's two miles straight up, switchbacks, about 2,000 feet, and we hiked up and it was like misty, humid, raining. We get up here and it's just pouring rain and thundering. And we finally made it to the campground and I got my hiker box. And I've been resupplying under this little tarp. I did take a shower here at Mola's Pass. Um, bought my shower and my towel and <laughs> you get you know, four minutes. But I was so cold that the hot shower actually felt really good. I didn't wash my hair or anything. But I just like stood under the hot water for like four minutes and uh, felt pretty amazing. So made putting wet or damp cold clothes on not so bad again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not sure why we do this sometimes. It's an adventure. We're supposed to meet Julie here at about four. It's about three right now. And, um, just aside, so the forecast for today is rain and more rain and more rain tonight and more rain tomorrow. It's a good time. Um, raining so much that there is the potential for flash flooding, you know, if you are by certain creeks or whatever. So I really need to be cognizant of camping sites, etc. We're supposed to get Mary... To Celebration Lake by tomorrow evening, and that's 20 miles away. Um, so where our plan was to hike out at least five miles tonight and camp and then hike the next 15 miles or whatever tomorrow to Celebration Lake. And of course, it's straight uphill to like 12,300 feet or whatever, something like that. And um, I think that's our last like 12,000 foot ridge. I'm not going to be sorry for a while. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, so the weather's definitely challenging right now. And it has been since we left Lake City. And um, a whole group just went into Silverton and you're just like, oh, man. So we're trying to decide what, what we need to do. Um, I just don't know. I imagine we'd be fine if we hiked out. We'll probably live, but... Anyway, it's been, um, it's been a challenging several days, tons of elevation, super high, uh, mostly over 12,000 feet for the last two and a half days. And so it's been chilly, but I mean, it's been beautiful. And, uh, it's just an interesting section of the trail. And after this... We bailed all the way to Silverton, but we have Julie now. Yes. So here we are, enjoying the wonders of town. Here he goes, Adi. He's slithering. He's a big one. He's a big worm. Yeah, 